All right, guys. Um, so today we're going to be doing a throttle body cleaning on this 2005 uh, Toyota Crown. Um, so in general, throttle bodies need to be cleaned usually about 90 to 100,000 kilometers. And it also depends on how much carbon buildup the vehicle has. So again, um, the reason for throttle body clean uh, cleaning is, um, is to make sure the car is not running sluggish if the car is running sluggish or it's attributing to some um, behaviors towards that it might be because of the throttle body being dirty uh, most times you won't see any throttle body um, any check engine lights for throttle body so it's it, it's not always obvious so yeah I mean eventually it does get dirty uh, it does affect the drivability of the vehicle uh, not as much as performance as just uh, the vehicle might feel sluggish when you're uh, giving it some gas and whatnot so, so let's go over what needs to be done in order for this um, For the throttle body to be clean for this vehicle do is we're trying to go Take the intake out intake plumbing out intake tubings out disconnect the connectors um, unbolt the screws and reach a throttle body and just eventually just give it a nice clean um so yeah, I'm going to start off by taking this uh, panel off, uh, this two plastics off, and then disconnecting the mass airflow sensor right over there. Um, any tools that I need, I'll be going through as well. We'll probably be needing a 10 mil for these, um, for these hoses, for these uh, screws. And remove the intake box, air box, and then, yeah, I'll give you a quick follow-up when I'm done a bit more work. So also one more thing I wanted to add is um, for the Toyota throttle bodies, there is no calibration needed once the cleaning is done or uh, before. So if you do want, you can um, take up the battery and it won't be causing any issues to the vehicle, anything. For now, I'm just going to be leaving the battery on. Um, yeah, for these, uh, this, these, these vehicles, it doesn't really make a huge difference if you do have the battery plugged in so yeah I'm just gonna be careful while I take everything off and then get the throttle body cleaned up so after a few minutes um, I have taken over the engine cover that's held on by two bolts uh, I took off the plastic piece that's covering the ABS ABS module and stuff like that that goes right over here and I also took off the um, upper piece of the air box that contains the mass airflow sensor. Obviously the filter is right over here. So what's happening next? So obviously after unbolting most of the stuff, I undid this screw to pull out the air box, the upper piece. And I un also unbolted this one. Obviously, there is some plumbing and some connections that's mounted onto the uh, intake plumbing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it as it is. I'm just going to just tilt it out of the way. So that gives me enough space. That gives me enough space to uh, work around this. Um, yeah. So here's a shot of the... Um, it doesn't look too dirty, but let's see, let's do some cleaning and let's see if we can, um, make this drive a bit, a bit better. So yeah, here's a before shot. Let's take a look. Yeah. You can see the very edges, the bottom, it's a bit dirty. Um, but yeah, let me do some cleaning. Let me put some solution on. And then we'll be able to see a difference, hopefully. So um, just did the cleaning, sprayed some throttle body clean on my rag. And I tried to wipe this down as, as much as I could. Uh, let's see if I can get a better picture. Yeah. Um, yeah, it looks a bit better. It definitely looks a bit better. Um, yeah, I don't think it's going to get much cleaner than that. Um, just be careful when you're pushing this flap in. Just make sure you push it in slowly and let it go slowly as well. 
you don't want to damage the motors or anything inside the throttle body because that's an expensive fix. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, you don't need to calibrate this uh, throttle body with the vehicle. It's already connected. This is an electric throttle body, not a drive-by wire. If it was drive-by wire, we'd probably see wires coming on the accelerator pedal. Obviously, we don't see anything. This is just an electrical connection that's uh, moving the throttle body. So yeah, I'll put everything back step by step and then uh, give you guys a quick update in a bit. I wanted to give a quick update about the tools I used. Uh, I use an electric ratchet with a 10 mil. I mean, you can use a regular ratchet as well. And I just use a flathead screwdriver to pry out some of the plastic pieces and to, like, you know, take out the uh, mass airflow sensor connection connector. Like, you know, pry it off with the flathead just little by little. Um, that works great. Other than that, uh, just a 10 mil and a ratchet would be able to get you through this job. Obviously you do need a rag of some sort and a throttle body cleaner. I suggest you use throttle body cleaners instead of just um, instead of just um, uh, brake clean. I mean it's meant for it's meant for the job so might as well use the proper tools. But yeah that's pretty much it. Um, other than that Everything looks great. I just put everything back mostly and uh, I'm just going to put the cosmetic pieces back in in a bit. Yeah, I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. So just got back from a quick drive to so just make sure if everything was working as it should. Uh, yeah, everything works as it, is, as it should. There's no um, check engine lights. There's no stumbling in the throttle. When you uh, when you press the accelerator pedal, so yeah, everything looks good. Everything um, is working as it should. Yeah, I'm uh, pretty pretty excited about this fix, and yeah, I just won't. yeah, I'll keep, I'll make sure if anything else needs to be um, checked, I'll be checking that. Uh, other than that, the car is running perfectly fine right now, and um, yeah, hopefully I'll get some time and try some other things out on this car. Alright, easy.